Skywatch Media News for the final week of 2019. A series of strong earthquakes shook the earth across multiple countries, occurring within a 24-hour period, culminating in an extraordinary ring of fire eclipse that was witnessed by many as it scurried across the Asian continent. Three powerful earthquakes and many aftershocks shook Argentina, Colombia, California, and Northwest Canada. The 6.3 Christmas quake off of Vancouver Island in the upper end of the Cascadia subduction zone is now the seventh event in an unusual series of tremors that has seismologists on high alert. On December the 23rd, multiple strong earthquakes shook the coast of Vancouver Island. This sector of the Pacific Ring of Fire sits atop two large tectonic plates, the Pacific and the North American. Caught in between is the Juan de Fuca plate. These plates push and grind under and past one another within the subduction zone. The energy from a strong earthquake can travel in all directions, actually pinging the earth and making it vibrate. The last major quake to strike Vancouver Island was a magnitude 7.3 that occurred back in the year 1946. Seismologists have indicated that quakes of this size can occur every decade, which means that this part of the Cascadia zone is more than 70 years past due for a major earthquake. The likelihood of a major earthquake is a frightening prospect for those living in these seismically active zones. But what may be even more terrifying is the time frame that seismologists are expecting and preparing for, a magnitude 9 megathrust rupture. Earthquakes of this magnitude are said to occur about every 200 to 800 years and the last one of this magnitude occurred over 300 years ago. When a series of quakes takes place in a very short time frame, such as the recent swarm off of Vancouver Island, it's understandable that seismologists would be concerned, knowing that a megathrust earthquake is overdue. A series of nine earthquakes struck California within a span of 24 hours on Christmas Eve and just before dawn on Christmas Day. The earthquake swarms stretched the entire length of the state, ranging in size between 2.5 and 3.3. The largest tremor occurred in the San Jacinto Mountains east of L.A. at a depth of 9.6 miles and it was felt far and wide across the Southern Valley. On Christmas Eve, a very deep 6.3 magnitude quake struck Argentina at a depth of 348 miles. On that same evening, a 6.0 earthquake hit Colombia at a depth of 6.2 miles. This earthquake was widely felt, and it was followed by a swarm of aftershocks, ranging in magnitude from 4.4 to 5.8. The tremors were felt in several cities across Colombia, including Bogota. The series of earthquakes on the eastern flank of the Pacific Ring of Fire took place within a 24 to 48 hour period prior to the solar eclipse that caused the day to become dark across Asia on the day following Christmas. Sky watchers in parts of the Middle East and across Asia witnessed an amazing ultra-rare annular eclipse of the sun, referred to as a ring of fire eclipse. On December 26th, in what is known as the Boxing Day, the moon was near apogee, its furthest point from the earth. At this distance, the moon was not able to cover the sun in its entirety, therefore leaving behind an intense light called the Ring of Fire Eclipse, a rare phenomenon that will not be seen again until the year 2063.
in the waning days before Christmas 2019, an unknown object stunned paranormal enthusiasts as it mysteriously hovered over Las Vegas. The UFO sighting over the nearby mountains confused onlookers as the bright orb moved quickly along the hillside while emitting pulsating bright white and blue lights. The sky watcher who filmed the footage claimed that the object produced no sound and was accompanied by smaller objects that were flashing above the Las Vegas evening sky. The object is seen moving in various directions above the cliffs before finally traveling at a very fast clip across the desert. Over the years, the state of Nevada has garnered a reputation for unusual evening sky activity that has increased over time along the famed extraterrestrial highway. Some of the sightings may actually stem from the speculation that surrounds the secret U.S. military base Area 51, which is located in the Nevada desert. The most recent encounter comes on the heels of recently released Navy footage showing an extraterrestrial craft. In this footage, a U.S. Navy fighter pilot revealed an unidentified glowing aircraft while on a training mission off the eastern coast in January of 2015. The craft was traveling at an incredibly fast speed, and it rotated while moving against strong winds. U.S. officials didn't want this video to be seen by the public, citing national security issues. It is said to contain definitive proof of alien life, and to this date, no one has ever offered any plausible explanation for the sighting. The Navy fighter pilot who made visual confirmation of the object said that the craft was behaving in a manner that wasn't physically normal. Whether an aircraft is manned or unmanned, it must still obey the laws of physics. In this particular instance, Physical laws were defied. As we look to the horizon, be mindful that at the end of every day and every year, there are two things in which we remain steadfast, our constancy of purpose and our continuous discontent with the present. A year of ending and one of a new beginning. A year that is lost and one that is found. May each day of the coming year be a time that will comfort you and protect you, so that there may be many more days in which we can gather as one. Thanks for watching.